السلام علیکم یو آل آر انتھوزیاسٹیکلی ویلکم ڈین انگلش لرننگ ان دس ویڈیو یو ول لرن اباؤٹ موٹر ورکس ان اے ڈیٹیلڈ وے فسٹ آف آل واٹ آر موٹر ورکس موٹر ورکس ڈو نوٹ ڈفرینٹ تھنگس وین دے آر پلیس ان ڈفرینٹ سینٹینسز آئی ہیو ڈفرینٹ ایگزامپلس فار یو ٹوڈے سو یو می انڈرسٹینڈ ہاؤ ٹو یوز دا موٹر ورکس پراپرلی Here are given some motor verbs like can, could, must, have to, should, would, will, shall, shan't, want, shouldn't, don't have to, must not, couldn't, can't, etc. These are all called motor verbs and their usage is obviously different. Now let's discuss the usage of motor verbs. First one, can and could. Can and could both are used for showing the ability. Can is used for present ability and could is used for showing the past ability. See the example, Soma can speak three languages. This is the present ability of Soma that she can speak three languages. Next sentence. He could speak fluent French when he was five. This is the possibility of someone that when he was five, he could speak fluent French. Okay. Now, second, can, could, and may. These are actually used for showing permission, past permission. See the examples. Can I sit in that chair, please? Can I ask a question please? Could I open that window? May I borrow that dictionary? Here, could and may are more polite and formal as compared to can. Can is not formal. For example, when you enter into your classroom, uh, you definitely ask permission from your teacher, but you will not choose can I come in, that is wrong, that is not a formal way of asking permission from your teacher, obviously you will choose may I come in instead of can. So this is the difference. Second, should. Should is used for taking or giving advice like. You should visit your dentist at least twice a year. Second, you should try to lose weight. Here are given some suggestions. So, should be used. Fourth one, must, have to, or to. Three of them are used for obligations. Examples. I must memorize all of these rules about tenses. Second, you have to take off your shoes before you get into mosque. This is the obligation of getting into the mosque that you have to take off your shoes first. Last, you ought to respect, sorry, we ought to respect our parents or you ought to respect your parents. So this is the obligation. Last one. might could and can are used to say something possible but not certain like it looks nice but it might be very expensive here i have given the percentage may 50% might 30% or less than 30 40% when you are less sure when there are less chances you will choose might but when you are more sure then you will choose may like it may rain and it might rain there is a difference he may be coming to see us tomorrow maybe it shows that you are more sure But when you will use might be in replacement of maybe, then it means you are 30% or less than 30%. You 
are less sure than me. Third, it can be very cold here in winter. This is the general truth or you can say that in winter there is coldness when you are living. Next, they could come by car. So, can is the present form and could is the past form. They could be at home. They can be at home. They could be at home. Can be the present and could be at home but past. That they must be there at home. That's all for today. Hope this video will be very helpful helpful for you in understanding the possibility.